Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I have another awesome Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a sliding freeze frame effect. Let's get it! So welcome to the channel. If this is your first time being here, please consider subscribing. Today I'm gonna be showing you an awesome sliding freeze frame effect. I know you guys have probably seen this in a lot of music videos. First, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have your scene but what you want to work with uh this one i did for the united way and my man's ryan was getting it you know doing the chicken and we're gonna slide the slider to where we want to freeze it and start so he's dancing there and it starts right here and gets into it so i want to do this effect like right right here so we make sure that our slider is selected here now we have two options we can either hit option F on your keyboard which will add a freeze frame and essentially a freeze frame is literally what it says it's freezing it it's freezing that exact frame in the long duration of it um, if you don't use option F you could come up top and go to add a freeze frame then we move this file up top now we're gonna want to make the duration a little bit smaller and put it where the playhead was where we did the insertion. And usually this can last like a few seconds. In this case, it's less than two seconds, but it's all good. We're gonna come over here to video effects and we're gonna go under mask and we're gonna drag and drop the draw mask tool on top of our freeze frame. Now what we're gonna do is, yes, you guessed it. We are going to outline our subject and if you want to get more precise, you can zoom in. This is the most time consuming part, so I'm going to speed this part up. Okay, jackpot. We are all set to go. I think I got a really good outline of that. And what we're going to do now is once we have that all selected, we're going to highlight our clip and we're going to start at the beginning and we're going to come over here to the transform tool. And we're going to come over here to the right and we're going to add a keyframe so this this plus sign right here we're going to click that it should turn yellow so we're going to adjust where it comes so either left right up up down in this case i think i'm gonna drop it from the left so i'm gonna double click the x here and i'm gonna slide my mouse up and that goes to the right or you can slide it down to go to the left and I'm actually I'm gonna go to the left so we're gonna start it here and we're gonna get him off the frame and then we're gonna slide our cursor or our slider all the way to the very end and we're gonna come back to the X and we're gonna double click it and we're gonna hit zero and hit enter and when we play back it should look something like that and you know if you want to spice it up a little bit we come over here to blur get the directional blur and add some motion to it so it looks like it's sliding a little bit faster and giving it that cool look and there we have it bonus hack if you if that's not fast enough for you because if you come check it out if you click this you can't you can't retime it you can't make it faster so in that case what we're gonna do is we are going to right click it and we're going to add it as a new compound clip so when we add the compound clip we could just name it whatever it is now we will have the time to reframe it or make it faster and in this case i'm going to say i want to bump it 2x and we're going to move it a little bit closer and watch what we have here yeah a lot more faster and yeah, shout out to my man Ryan. I want to show you one other thing as well in case you're in this predicament where there's a little section right here that we're going to have to chop out and we're going to there's a there's a separate way to do this. So I don't want this to stop your process. I want to show you how to do it right now. And let's say we want to start it right here. So we're going to make sure that our slider's here and we're going to hit option on our keyboard and F. Now I don't know why this looks like this frame, but that's weird anyways so we have our freeze frame and we're gonna add it up top and we're gonna change the duration usually this should last like no more than two seconds 
um, the clips I'm working with are smaller than that so it's not that much to work with but I want you to get the main gist draw a mask on top of that frame and we are gonna outline but okay once we have our outline as you can see it's done and I can't get this other chunk so I'm gonna show you how to get that last piece of chunk what we're gonna do is once we have the outline again we're gonna right click and we're gonna do a new compound clip and when you compound clip we're still all good to go I probably could have got it a lot smoother but we're gonna add another draw mask on top of that and when we do so we'll be able to get this chunk out right here because this looks trashy and I know it's gonna go away and you're gonna be like daddy what the what the heck but well, we hit invert mask and yeah baby we we got it out we got it out and that's how clean we want I could have did better around the edges I know I know so don't bomb on me too hard in the comments come over here and again you remember we're gonna add the, the keyframe so we're gonna come over here transform make sure it's selected up top come over here to the right I think this time we're gonna drop it on top um, whoops so remember hit this plus sign and then we're gonna double click the Y and we're gonna scroll I'm gonna come from the bottom matter of fact I'm gonna be like sting since I do have the WCW title I'm coming from the rafters on this joint all right and then we are gonna slide the slider down and then we're gonna come over back here to the Y and we're gonna hit zero and we'll get that back in motion and watch this oh it's sting it's sting coming from the rafters boom play around with it this might be a thing too where it's not fast enough and if it's not going fast enough make another compound clip come over here and make it faster it's up to you that was a little bit too fast but you get the main gist have fun with this effect and I wanted to show you guys how easy it is hey so like I wanted to I was finishing up the tutorial and I forgot to tell you guys something that you can do now let's say for example that's my son he is in the office with me my man Barney right here like after we added the draw mask on you see some lines and we can actually fix that over here at the feather tool and we can knock it down a little bit so we could get it to like negative let's do negative three and it will help during that situation and it'll look a lot cleaner if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials consider to subscribe to this channel and as always don't forget to hit that like button if you liked it and don't forget to ignite. See ya.